Pythagoras wanted to celebrate Pi Day by sharing Pi with 100 of his friends. He serves 1% of the Pi to the first guest, 2% of the remaining Pi to the second guest, and 3% of the remaining to the third guest, and so on. Which guest gets the largest share of Pi? Beautiful question. And 1%, if you have not tried this question, I would strongly urge you to hit pause in this video. Try this question in some form and then and then jump into it. Right? You are getting, getting increasing share of the Pi when lesser and lesser is available. And so the first guy, 1% of the pie. Brilliant. So I'm going to think about this in terms of first guest one would get 1% of the pie. Guest two would get 1% of the pie. 99%. Straight away, you can sense that guest 2 gets more than guest 1. And that much is clear. 1% of the entire pie, 2% of 99% of the pie. Guest 3 will get 3% of 97% of the pie. Why 1% gone here, 2% gone here? Is that right? It's not 97%. Think about it. We are not losing 3% of the pie. We are losing 1% of the pie and 2% of 99% of the pie. Very interesting. So, it is not 3% of 97 or 4% of 95, then that becomes very easy. It is not, not such an easy question because it is not 3% of 97%, it is 3% of 1% gone away straight away. So, out of the 99%, we subtract 2% of 99%. This is what the 1% this guy takes off, 2% of 99% this guy takes off, and the remaining this guy get 3% of that. Guest okay. 4 get 4% of, I'm going to rejig this out of 100%, we lose 1%, and then we lose 2% of 99%, and then we lose 3% of whatever was remaining of this number basically it's going to become confusing and so finding out g1 g2 g3 g4 step by step going to be a nightmare and then we need to find which guess gets the maximum right? a lot of these mixtures questions we have a very interesting trick there we always say whenever you're dealing with mixtures make one adjustment we are taking something away don't track what is taken away track what is remaining therefore it's a one-step process not a two-step process and very simple and so I'm not going to take about what is taken away I'm going to think about what is remaining so let's do that after guest one leaves what do we have remaining we have 99% after guest two leaves what do we have remaining we have 98% of 99% 99% is remaining this guy takes 2% of whatever is there this will be remaining after guest 3 leaves, we will have 97% of, 98% of, 99% of. We are tracking what is remaining. Mind you, after guest 4 leaves, we will have 96% of, 97% of, 98% of, 99%. Not easy. Or at least are not as crazy as the previous one. We are not looking to find the answer, we are looking to make it simpler. And so, after guest 1 leaves, you have 99% remaining. After guest 2 leaves, you have 98% of 99% remaining. After guest 3 leaves, you have 97% of 98% of 99% and so on. So, now let's stick some N into it. After the nth guest leaves, so we start from 99, go to 98. 97 for g4 we go from 99 to 96 g3 we go from 99 to 97 or 100 minus n percent of this lovely brilliant so far so good so after they leave we know what is remaining in each case quite obviously each subsequent n the remaining number is going to be smaller something is being taken away so, but now we don't need to find out where this will be maximum. This is the maximum. We need to figure out which guest gets the maximum. Okay. There's only what is remaining. Now, what are they taking away? What is T1 taking 
guest one is taking away one percent what is guest two taking away this minus this this minus this this or this minus this 99 percent minus two percent of minus 98 percent of 99 percent and or guess two is taking away two percent of 99 percent guess three would be this minus this 98 percent of 99 percent minus 97 percent of 98 percent of 99 percent difference is three percent of 98 percent of 99 percent this difference is four percent of 97 percent of 98 percent of 99 percent and so on what is being taken away what am i doing i'm doing this minus this this minus this this minus this now that number is interesting so i'm going to write down that number separately taken by one is one percent taken by two is two percent of 99 percent taken by three is three percent of 98 percent of 99 percent we write t4 also 4 percent of 97 percent of 98 percent of 99 percent brilliant now let's think about t n nth percent what does he or she take away n percent of for four we start from 97 for three we start from 98 for two we start from 99 okay. the last point is 99 percent that is clear then 98 percent all the way till 100 minus 4 plus 1 100 minus 3 plus 1 100 minus 2 plus 1 or till 101 minus n percent brilliant now let's think about t n plus 1 this will be n plus 1 percent of and then one minus of n plus one and then one minus n minus one or hundred minus n etc etc all the way till 99 brilliant so this is what is taken away by the nth percent this is what is taken away by the n plus one percent now you notice when we start off the first guy takes one percent second guy takes two percent of 99 percent slightly more three percent of still a very large number almost the whole pie slightly more t1 to t2 we increase t2 to t3 will increase t3 to t4 will likely increase we'll keep on increasing and so if you look at the share first guy will get something second guy will get more third guy will get more fourth guy will get more fifth guy will get more and so on at one point of time one guy will get the maximum after that he'll keep falling and we want to find the point where it starts falling we want to compare these two and then say hey somewhere tn plus 1 is going to be less than tn then i'm through wherever tn plus 1 the smallest n where tn plus 1 is less than tn we are through fine so then after that we'll keep falling that we can see now think about this which is a large strand this one large strand how do we compare these two think about this of this large strand from 99 percent 98 percent all the way to 101 minus n percent 99%, 98%, all the way till 100 minus n percent. Or the next number here is going to be 101 minus n percent. You think about this, from here to here is common completely. So now I'm going to reimagine that Tn and Tn plus 1. I'm going to write them down again. Tn is n percent of 101 minus n percent, all the way till 99%. T n plus 1 is n plus 1 percent of 100 minus n percent, 101 minus n percent, all the way to 99 percent. Now, what do we do? We want to find the point where this becomes less than this. Or I'm comparing these two. I divide this by this. I divide this by this. And I want to find a point where T n is more than tn plus 1. I want to find the point where this number, the smallest n, where this number is greater than 1. Then I am through. 
the smallest 10 where this number is greater than 1 then we are through brilliant the 99 percent etc 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 everything will get cancelled and what are we left with we have n percent and we have n plus 1 percent of 100 minus n percent this should be greater than 1 the smallest n for which it is greater than 1 we are through or the smallest n for which n percent is greater than n plus 1 percent of 100 minus n percent now this seems like again confusing but this is easy why i'm going to write this down again i'm comparing n percent and n plus 1 percent of 100 minus n percent i'll put n as 1 i'm comparing 1 percent with 2 percent of 99 percent is greater 2 3 4 5 i don't have to worry so i'm going to go to 6 percent 6 percent compared with 7 percent of 100 minus 6 is 94 percent 7 by 100 into 94 7 into 194 is it greater than 600 it is 6 percent 7 percent of 94 percent 7 into 94 seven ninety are 630 more than six and something so it will be this is this also holds good i want to find the smallest n where this reverses six also doesn't work let's try eight eight percent compared with nine percent of 92 percent nine into 92 nine to 90 is 81 so this will be more than eight percent but you're getting close two percent of 99 percent is very large it's almost twice as this but here we are very close right so compare nine percent with ten percent of 91%. 10% of 91% is 9.1%. This is 9%. Can work. Per 10% with 11% of 80. 11% of 90%. 11% 90 of 90% is 9.9%. This goes like this. Or the moment n hits 10, it reverses. Or the tenth guy will get the maximum. So beautiful, beautiful question. First of all, we say we don't worry about what is taken. We think about what is remaining. And then we track what is remaining at each stage. Then the difference of two remaining is what is being taken away by each person. We rejig that difference. Then we track that T1, T2, T3, T4 completely. Then we say T2 is more than T1, T3 is more than T2, T4 is more than T3. And but there's going to be a point where we where it flips over. Tn plus 1 is not more than Tn. Tn is higher than Tn plus 1. Or it keeps on going high and after a point it tapers off. We want to find that point where it tapers off. Or the first n such that Tn is greater than Tn plus 1. The smallest n where this is going to be greater than this. Or the smallest n where this by this is greater than 1. Smallest 10 where this holds good, which happens to be when n is 10 or the 10th person gets the maximum. Now, the beauty of this question is the 10th person gets a certain share. That share is apparently a very good number, very interesting, a very brilliant number. Way of computing that takes more time. Please do check it out on the net. We'll give you the link and the rest of it. But that share which the 10th person gets, the person who gets the maximum, that share gets is, uh, is quite a brilliant percentage. Uh, and, and that stays same in different contexts of this question. And so do check that out. There is more to this question. There is also a specific reason why this question is tangentially linked to pi. We are dealing with percentages and number of people and graphics. So the pi angle is not just with this. That's not the pi angle in this. The pi angle is with this pi. And so, so poke around, find that and discover that pi angle. is an amazing, amazing idea with pi. Once again, many thanks to Raghu for finding this question and then finding the link with pi and then bringing it to our notice and forcing us to do this one lovely guys happy preparing for cat enjoy yourself cheers Hush.